the crisis in Syria and questions about whether a five-day ceasefire is actually holding. Turkey's President Erdogan agreeing with Vice President Pence to stop its assaults on the Kurds. By Tuesday night, all Kurdish forces who are U.S. allies are supposed to pull back from their positions in northern Syria. But is that likely to happen? ABC's James Longman with a reality check in the region tonight. A ceasefire hanging in the balance tonight. While Turkey says it stopped its assault, Kurdish forces claim some fighting continues. President Trump today downplaying that report after a call with Turkey's president. There was some sniper fire this morning. There was mortar fire this morning that was eliminated quickly. And uh, they're back to the full pause. But the Kurds claim a hospital was targeted in this key border town. Sometimes you have to go through some pain before you can get a good solution, but the Kurds are very happy about it. But they're not happy about it. And tonight, even Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is saying withdrawing U.S. forces from Syria is a grave strategic mistake. The U.S.-Turkish broker deal forces the Kurds to pull out of their positions by Tuesday. Today, the Turkish president warning, if not, they'll face a new and more determined offensive. The deal allows Turkey to carve out a stretch of the border roughly 20 miles into Syria, home to thousands of Kurds. But the Kurds, longtime partners of the U.S., say they won't surrender their land, calling it ethnic cleansing. Hundreds have been killed and hundreds of thousands uprooted, many flooding into refugee camps like this one in Iraq. There's a lot of anger against the United States in this camp. Just a few days ago, these people were at home in Syria. They only feel they're here because of America. This man escaped two days ago with his family, and on Trump, he's clear. The man who leaves his supporters is a traitor, and he's only looking for his benefit. Strong tensions there, and James joins us now from northern Iraq. And James, the big question now, how likely is it tonight that this ceasefire can hold? Well, Tom, more violence is certainly possible because the two sides don't have the same idea on where the Kurds must withdraw to. Kurdish forces believe it's a far more limited pullback, while the Turks expect something far broader. And that is why tonight we're learning the Kurds want international observers to help police it. Tom. James Longman with that new reporting tonight for us. James, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.